Oh man, so hey man, shout out to Quinn Ewers. Shout out to the homie for um bringing this situation to light because it, without him this wouldn't be possible. But it's re really interesting to see. So John Moran's react to Barstool Sports being called out for being hypocritical in the way that they cover his situation versus Quinn Ewers. Other people may go ahead and make reasons for that, you know, but it still looks crazy in comparison. So you see John Morant laughing. He's laughing at Barstool Sports saying Quinn Ewers is having fun. All right. Now that's the little New Orleans dance that was seen before when John Morant played against New Orleans Pelicans. And he did the same as that dance right here with John ja, with um, Barstool Sports saying John ja sprang imaginary bullets into section 113 after the slam. And he go with the slam. Boom. There he does the same dance. As Quinn yours. No, let me know what y'all think about that. But let's look at some other reactions in the meantime. This person says, When a white man does it, there's no issues. But 12 on the Memphis Grizzly does it, and he's a dumb N word. Whew. Same dance, different player. These pages can't even try to hide the racism. This person says, Well, yours also didn't flex guns on Insta Live. Stop defending Barstool, dude. It's gonna be a glorious day when this company goes bankrupt and they portnoy. Oh, that's from a what? what? <laughs> hey boy, y'all people, y'all supposed to be wildin', bro. But dang, he don't like Barcelona, huh? I'll let y'all read that. I ain't finna say it on my channel. It says, "Look at that white boy dance. <laughs> Put the gun down, thug. <laughs> y'all crazy. Y'all crazy." And last, and last but not least, A B saying crackerism. Hell nah. But um, this shit, it's it's interesting though. It's like. Maybe I think they're kind of engagement baiting when it comes to this right here. But just seeing these two things in comparison is crazy as hell. And I get it as well. There is some weight that's being held when it comes to John Morant in his past situations with firearms and stuff. So that make it a little different. But at the end of the day, neither of these things should be a big deal. Any of them. I would say if I was job to avoid the headache, I wouldn't even, you know, do shit like that. Just to avoid the headache. But, you know, it is what it is. Y'all gotta let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, though. This is another update with Stace. Yo.